For almost the past three years, I have been fighting a flesh-eating skin disease called Mycobacterium abscessus. All of this happened because of one stupid mistake. I went to a med spa that said they were licensed and insured. They lied. I went for B12 shots, and I left fighting for my life. I spent months in the hospital, and here I am today trying to advocate for myself, show body positivity despite the fact that I have hundreds of scars all over my body. Many don't know this, but med spas are seriously unregulated. It is basically the wild, wild wild west out there. And despite what happened to me, I have tried my absolute best to remain a positive person and chase after my dreams anyways. Because of my skin condition, I've been told many times to give up on my content creator and influencer dreams. And instead, I am making the best lemonade out of these lemons. So before this flesh eating bacteria took over my body and life, this is actually what I used to look like. I have always had such a passion for fitness and outdoors traveling. And I love showing off the body that I worked so hard for. But then after this one small mistake, my life changed forever. I had flesh bursting open and eating itself throughout my entire upper body and was actually in the hospital from May 2021 until September 2021. And then on home health for another year plus and six hours of daily IV infusions. I really tried only filming on my positive days. But as you can see, even with hundreds of open sores, I still tried my best to exercise and love my body to Despite this incredibly painful situation, I really cannot show you guys how gruesome it actually got because my videos will be taken down. But as you can see, I did not even look like the same person. Finally, in September of 2022, I got my port removed and I was on oral antibiotics until February of 2023. And I began getting skin treatments to help lighten the appearance of my scars, which has helped so much with my confidence. But then I saw some granulomas popping up. We got them removed. This was a really painful surgery. And unfortunately, I discovered that my disease has relapsed and I will actually begin round two of treatment this next Monday. But I promise this time, though, I'm not going to be hiding what I'm going through and I'm going to continue fighting for justice and for the body positivity movement. I know that in sharing my story and vulnerability, I can share resilience and persistence and what a fighter's mindset looks like. And most importantly, prove to everyone that it is possible to find faith and hope and happiness in even the worst imaginable situations. So thank you to everyone who has supported me in my mission and in me sharing my story. I'm 25 years old and over a million dollars deep in medical bills, and this is what a day in the life looks like for someone who's on treatment six hours a day. Most days I feel like but after a year and a half of being on treatment, I've gotten pretty used to fighting through it. I have a great work from home job that's super understanding, and as you can see, I'm pretty used to being hooked up all day. It turns out anything can be an IV pole. And yes, showering is a pain, but I had to get it done before seeing my nurse. By the time 8 p.m. hits, I'm right back at it, hooking myself up for the next three hours. I would be lying if I said TikTok didn't help me get through it. I pretty much scroll up until bedtime.